Hello and welcome to a statue review for the My Hero Academia Break Time Collection Volume 4 Uradaka Ochako or Uravity. So, um, it's been a while since I've opened any My Hero Academia statues and this one I've kind of been sitting on for a while. And this is of course Uravity or Uradaka or Ochako, whatever you like to call her. Um, and so this is from the Break Time Collection uh, series or sub series, I guess, by Ban Presto. I'm kind of hoping this scales up with the uh, the other band presto my hero statues I've got, but I guess we'll see. So this one is of one of the characters I don't actually have. I like Ochako, but a lot of her previous statues have not particularly interested me. But this one I kind of like because if we turn to this side, it shows she is just in like a casual sitting position, uh, and I think this will go quite well with my display of the kind of standing heroes. Uh, so we've had a quick look at the box. There's not a lot going on, to be honest. Bizarrely, I have noticed one thing. It doesn't say her name, unless that's her name there, and I can't read kanji, uh, unfortunately. I know that says uh, No Hero Academia, and that's Boku, I guess, the first one. But yeah, so this is Volume 4. I want to say Froppy was part of this as well. I can't remember who the other two are. Maybe it was like Deku and Bakugo. I don't fully know. Anyway, I'm going to go and open this up now, and we'll take a look inside. Alright, I'm back. So, um, I'm kind of impressed actually, she came all in one piece, there was no assembly required. Uh, usually with Ban Presto, they'll come in like two pieces, just to cut down on the possibility of them bending and stuff, but I guess she is one kind of chunky statue, so it makes sense. So, it is time to take a look at her. So, she's obviously a sitting statue, that's the whole point of it. Uh, I have had to drop the camera quite considerably, because she's a lot shorter than the box she came in. But, as always, we will start from the bottom and work our way up. So, she's got her gravity boots on. I don't know if those are actually the, the name of them. But I have always really liked the kind of like round, futuristic design of Ochako. Uh, and her boots, uh, you don't get to see this much in the anime, or maybe I just never picked up on it, but she does have like heels going on, which is interesting. I never really noticed that. Along with two kind of like porthole things, I'm not sure exactly what those are for, but they are very cool. Fairly, fairly sort of, as I said, futuristic, kind of not too detailed, but very nice. Although, going up to details, the fingers are pretty impressive. Like, you can kind of see the like musculature sort of of each of the fingers there because they're not just straight and flat out. That is pretty cool, to be honest. I also kind of like there's a little bit of a gloss to her um, pinky white parts, uh, which makes sense. Then we're up to the bodysuit section, uh, which kind of wraps round her and stuff. And for those interested, yes. Uh, below is, well, I was going to say the goods, but because she's a sitting statue, they have had to flatten part of this. So, uh, for one of the first times I think you can confidently say this, Ochako is kind of flat down there. Uh, that is obviously because of the statue's needs, and not because she is. Uh, she's also got the kind of waist thing that I'm, I've never been fully sure about. I mean, I'm sure it helps her, you know, negate gravity or whatever. So let's go over to her, her other hand, which again is kind of impressively sculpted because it's not just all of her fingers are flat. It's kind of a, an active kind of, you know, pose that looks more human, I guess. Uh, and then over to her weird sort of pink gauntlet stuff. So she's got the pink floaty dark pink bangle along with her sort of... Again, don't exactly know what these are and why the protrusions are there, but there's four of those, and there's four on this side as well with the pink things. And then up to the shoulders, uh, we've got like dark pink bands and stuff, kind of holding her bodysuit in, I suppose. Uh, and no, I never realised that it, it's more kind of a vesty kind of thing, I guess. Uh, or overalls is the kind of feel. That's weird, actually. The white part, I don't know if you can make it out on camera, but it's kind of like protruding a little bit. It feels like it's over her bodysuit. Maybe it is. Maybe the like pink parts are... Yeah, actually, all throughout, they do feel like it's sort of... Because I thought the black was over the pink, but actually, I guess, the pink is over the black. Um, 
Yeah, so they've definitely got all of her proportions correct. Uh, and then up to her sort of... Uh, I was going to say choker, but I don't know if... I don't know how you'd describe that, to be honest. But it is that pink thing, which again, I think kind of keeps her body suit sealed, maybe. And then we're up to the face, which, weirdly, from that angle, I don't know why, but looks like she's shocked. Like, genuinely, like, surprised to see something. When you turn it there, looks fine. She she looks happy. She looks like he... I don't know. It's weird. Uh, round to her hair, which is kind of... I don't know. I thought, I thought it was tied off by the pink thing there, but no. She's got her sort of standard hair there. And, yeah, the, the face sculpt, I will say, it's not perfect. I think I've seen some slightly better looking with Chacos, but I think from the right angle, that is still pretty cute, but I don't know, maybe it's her eyes, but they look a little bit big, like she looks more startled than happy, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, like overall though, I am pretty impressed with this. As I said, the shininess on parts of it and the sort of matte look of the bodysuit is pretty cool. Yeah, I, I really like the pose as well. So I'm going to go take some photos now uh, and put her in a montage. There's not going to be a ton because th there's only so many angles you can get of someone sitting down. But I will be or be after that. All right, I am back. So I think that may have been the quickest uh, picture-taking session I've ever had. Um, yeah, overall, I'm kind of digging this statue. I will say, now that I've kind of pointed out the whole eye thing, it is hard not to see her looking shocked. But again, I mean, that's kind of an issue that, you know, I, I'm sure I'll forget about pretty soon. Um, I I really like sitting down statues so i mean she's slightly different than a noodle topper but it's kind of in that realm and part of the reason i got this is to kind of tie my my hero academia um display together because all of the rest of my my hero academia band presto statues are obviously stood up and i'm using a detolf uh, from ikea so there's only so much you know height that thing gets and the more standing up statues you have, the more kind of crammed they get, or you need to use a different shelf. And I thought, these are kind of cool, because they take up part of the display you don't typically see, which is like the bottom part. So, and I take some photos with that display uh, as well, to see if she does bring it together a bit. If you are interested in that, I might chuck one at the end here. Or if not, keep an eye on my social media, put it on Instagram or Twitter or something. But yeah, that about wraps up this statue review. It's pretty straightforward, it's pretty simple, but honestly, I would rate this pretty pretty well. I know Ochako's not super popular with everybody, so I don't know if there's a lot of Ochako statue collectors out there. I don't own her in statue form. This is my first one, and honestly, I'm pretty happy with it. Unless she gets, like, a really cool costume upgrade in, like, the later seasons. I can't see myself buying any others. I think this is peak Ochako. She's happy, she's relaxed, you know, I mean, she does kind of fight in the anime, but, you know, to be honest, she's more there to be cute than she is to fight. At least for now, I don't know, maybe later on, I haven't caught up with season 5 yet, so I could be wrong. But yeah, that about wraps it up. Let me know if you guys have this, or if you have any of the other relaxed time, um, My Hero Academia statues, because I might consider getting one or two more, but, you know, we'll see. But, as always, I will leave a playlist for statue reviews in the corner there, and I'll leave YouTube to choose something else. And, until next time, goodbye!